Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Starfield shipbuilding guide. Today, Dick Fig Industries has a doozy for you all. Without further ado, we introduce you to the wonderful, amazing Grand Zagara 2.0. Everything has been upgraded. Every single stat is better. It is cheaper. It is a full package here. We have taken our cumulative knowledge of over 500 hours in this game and piled it into this one ship for you all to enjoy. While we enjoy this beautiful fly around of this ship, this video will be chaptered for your easy navigation. There will also be a pinned comment below with notes. This video will include the required skills for this ship, the stats, then we will do an exterior tour, an interior tour. We will then do a shopping list and go over where to acquire every single piece. We will then do a Lego style building for this i will then talk about the crew and the skills required to get some of these stats that you see on the screen here and then we'll do an outro screen what an intro coming from those people over at hq now let's get into what skills you are going to require to take this beautiful ship home from the showroom floor we cannot let you leave the door without knowing you have a class c ship license so you will need piloting level four and you will also need starship design level four to be qualified for some of these high-end modules on the ship but don't worry we do have a lesser versions for you and you can upgrade later at a reduced cost so you're still interested in the ship let's talk about what you're gonna get for your 800 000 thousand credits a hundred thousand cheaper than the original Zagara you will start with 600 fuel more than enough with the proper skills to travel all the way across the known systems you get 1545 hull points enough to take a little bit of a beating out there because we know what you heroes get into you have 10,800 cargo I repeat 10,800 cargo that is an increase from Zagara and you have a 41 power reactor with the proper crew you can have eight crew members the maximum allowed by any patrolling force in space you will jump your 30 light years and this showroom floor model has 5439 shields we are still working out some quality control issues at the manufacturing plant so yours might be a little bit higher a little bit lower we can compensate you with some credits to make up for the difference so don't worry about that the interior consists of four completely customizable habs with our legendary reputation we have open contracts with every single hab manufacturer we can install whatever you want when you want it at no extra cost just tell us what you want this ship is bristling with 12 top end particle beam weapons so you can reach out and touch people at almost 4,000 meters packing a total punch of 377 firepower at a cost 800,000 credits of steel by today's standards with a mass of 4,274 leaving you one mass to work with before you lose mobility because we managed to keep that at 100 with 130 top speed she is a nimble fast moving ship for its size with all that pesky paperwork out of the way let's begin the walk around section of this video we start off here with some very distinctive differences we have these super aggressive weapon pods on the south side here we have 10 new gorgeous radiators with a massively upgraded armor suite and we have a brand new sensor suite package for this ship uh, but we still maintain the distinctive outline of a zagara everyone will know you are in a dig fig industries top of the line ship when you show up they will know exactly who you are and you will instill hope in your allies and fear in your enemies that being said we have taken some community feedback we have changed the color of our demonstration ships and we have also moved the landing bay to the front for easy convenience entrance and exits and just look at these weapon pods and you can see the upgraded armor package up on top here and it just starts to highlight how distinctive and amazing the lines are on the ship we still have our exclusive contract with stroud for the 6830 engine packages completely experimental not everyone has access to these we've added two new huge heavily armored landing gear here to support all the extra armor weight and we know you guys like to take a beating out in space and we guarantee this thing will bring you home in one piece every single time we still have this massive engine package back here so when you land everyone knows you mean business and this thing just looks like it's gonna scream for how huge it is oh uh, you've got four reserve fuel tanks back here these do have trackers on them so when they are empty feel free to jettison them especially in combat because you don't want that extra weight back there and uh, we will pick them up and refuel and deliver to your registered home base on all of your paperwork now if we can squeeze in here we'll show some other modifications we have made we have put all of the maneuvering thrusters on the inside here to protect them from fire during combat so you can maintain perfect 
perfect mobility. We have four primary external fuel tanks here armored to the wazoo uh, with systems in place. So if you take a hit in them, they will vent and not cause a catastrophic explosion inside your ship. And if we jump up here, you can see this beautiful silhouette up here. Got the huge upgraded armor package, some more showcasing of it up here. We have the new 10 radiator system on this with patented self-sealing coolant inside. So if you take a hit, they will self-seal and continue to operate at dang near 100% efficiency. We have the three primary radiators up here for your engine packages to run your boost as long as possible. We still like to tuck the shield generator away in here because you know what? I'd rather an engine take a hit or a radiator take a hit than my shield generator because the shield generator is what guarantees we come home in one piece. It's an absolutely amazing thing. Uh, this technology up here, we're not going to talk about the person that this one is going to has spent a hefty fee to get some top of the line experimental military technology up there. And uh, Vasco is actually here just to protect that technology. Now let's begin the interior tour park here. This current model has four Demos halves in it as requested by the purchaser and we fill all requests. Nice day, so if we look off in here, oh, it's a wonderful day, Omar. We have a beautiful little galley here starting off in a Demos all in one. We've got yeah, the four okay. beds so the crew can sleep in shifts. And if we come through here straight across, we now have our infirmary. This will have a research station and a pharmaceutical lab oh, in it. Pleasure, it's a wonderful buzzer to meet you too. I didn't even know they ever actually like fiddled with those things and took it apart. That's really, really cool. Oxygen Papyrus, we know you heroes like to get into some things. We don't know what you're going to find poking around those derelicts you find in space. And if we take a left, we come in here to a workstation that has a weapon bench, a space suiting bench, an industrial bench that is currently being used, and a second research lab because you can never research too much while you're going about your journeys. And if we come straight across, then we will now come to the captain's quarters here, which is a beautiful little Demos captain's quarters. You got the navigation thing here. So if you don't want to go out there in your PJs and uh, ruin everyone's day, you can just do your navigational command orders from here. And uh, in the Demos world, you have to be the toughest person on your crew so you sleep on a freaking plywood bed maybe some metal slab i don't know but it cannot be that comfortable of a bed and uh we're gonna move across here and take it right and go to our captain's quarters not the captain's quarters to the cockpit so uh this ship is just a giant cross it's super easy to navigate and uh yeah this is the giant demos cockpit that has a navigation table if you don't want to wait for the animation at your chair to travel around it's got a little side room here for your crew to strap in and sit down when you're going through some crazy maneuvers and you've got another secondary room over here for people to relax in uh my favorite part about this entire thing is these flat bits right here because like at night you can just sit here and look up at the stars sleep in just a gorgeous little place to hang out and now that is the interior tour we're gonna jump on over to the ship that we're gonna go shopping in and just like that i'm staring into the depths of your soul this is the ship i'm going to be bringing to manufacture this ship uh, it's called the rambler 2 you can buy it into atlantis for 70k uh, i make all of my videos under the pretense that whatever you bring is getting deleted so i don't care what ship you bring you bring whatever the heck you want whatever you don't want whatever you do want and we're gonna blow it all apart it doesn't really matter uh there are pieces you cannot buy at your outpost landing pad so if you plan on crafting all of this here when the shopping lists pop up at every single stop there will be little asterisk ones you have to go there and buy those you cannot buy them at your outpost it's unfortunate we can't by the way that's how things be so let us head on to our very first stop here we start everything at new atlantis just because people know where it is it's a good central point to start things even though it's not very central in the galaxy we're going to zoom all the way out here we're going to be going to volley 2 we are then going to click on volley to alpha and we're going to be rotating the plan around till we see on neon core and then we're going to click land then we will get these beautiful soulless black loading screens because apparently the game doesn't want to use any of my screenshots because apparently we have no soul because that's just how someone commented about these. Now it's a thing in all my videos. Once we are here, we're going to look left. We are going to walk around and there's going to be this Stroud store that they put the sign really far over here. So it's hard to see, but it's also in the window. We're going to head in here and there's a wonderful old lady in here who's going to greet you and we're going to completely ignore her and we're going to look left and we're going to access these terminals bam just like that we're going to view modify we're going to go to ship builder and now there should be a shopping list on your screen again the asterisk ones you cannot buy at your outpost you have to buy here so pause the video take a screenshot or just pause it leave it up i don't care or rewatch it 1600 times help the analytics did you guys pause it yet come on we're pausing it we said pause it i'm just gonna wait a little little bit longer is it paused 
Have you bought all the pause stuff? Pause, 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 pause. Okay, we have paused it. Now that you've purchased everything, you should have this surrendering of parts somewhere on your screen. I will be doing these top down views at every single shopping list. This one will be a little bit longer because we're going to talk here for a second. These reactors, jump drive, and engines all require specific things. These are going to require your level 60. So if you're not and you cannot purchase these, just buy the best ones you can. There is no better place to buy these two parts here. Now, these Cell 683 engines, if you do not have access to these, they are from the primary story quest where you do some missions for Walter. That means if you are an NG Plus and you have skipped the main story quest, you cannot buy these. You will have to buy the one version lower and you will have to trade out some of your cargo space or your maneuverability to build this ship. That being said, if you meet all the requirements, you should have one J52 Gamma Jump Drive, one Pinch 8Z Reactor, six Sal 6830 Engines, two Stroud Engine Bracer A's, one Stroud Nose Cap B4 Top, four Stroud Nose Cap C Port Forwards, two Stroud Nose Cap D Port Fours here. Now, you're going to have a whole bunch of errors thrown up here on your ship. I dragged mine all the way over here. I'm going to bring it over here. We are going to delete... We are going to pull off, we are going to delete the draft drive, we are going to delete the reactor, we are going to delete the engines, and we are probably going to have to buy extra landing gear. Now you are just going to fit all of this stuff onto here, and I will show you how I did it. Now you can see here that I made a Frankenstein ship. I literally just bought a whole bunch of Stroud Companionway one by ones threw them all here, slapped the engines on the back, threw all the bits on, bought a whole bunch of the crappy landing gear here, just so this ship can fly with no errors. Now you can choose to either fly this thing around because it's fun to fly a Franken ship around occasionally, or you can use one of your good ships while well, this just sits in your hangar. But for us, we're going to head off to our next stop here, which is going to be Hope Tech. So we're going to be backing out of here and going to the map. We are going to be looking for the Valo system, and the Valo system is actually a little bit hidden. You should be looking for Narion, and it's underneath there. So we're going to click on Valo. Then we're going to click on Pavlo. Pavlovo? Someone made fun of me for how I say this isn't Pavlovo. I don't know. Either way, pronunciation hard. We're going to be heading to Hope Town. We're going to watch one of these beautiful loading screens now where there's actually a picture here. It's not Solus when you're flying planet to planet, apparently. Uh, but it was before, so I don't actually know. The game doesn't make much sense. I'll see you guys there. Now that we're here, we're going to run on straight ahead. We're going to talk to this ship technician gentleman right here. Hey, what can I do for you? Oh, you can let me buy some parts. I will, thank you. Have a wonderful day, sir. This guy's such a kind fellow over here. We're gonna go into our ship builder of our Frankenstein ship. Now you guys are gonna be buying what's on the shopping list that's been on your screen here for a second. So uh, you should pause it here again. If there's an asterisk, it means you have to buy it here. You can't get your outposts. Did you pause it yet? Pretend it's a Walkman and pause it. How many of us are old enough for that? You got CD players, you can pause it. MP3 players, you pause. Pause your video, pause it, take a screenshot chill out here watch it over and over again i don't care help the analytics pause it pause it hopefully we paused it i think we paused it maybe we paused it my face is so itchy pause it so i can itch my face okay i'm gonna itch my face now bye now that you've finished that shopping list you should have these on your screen hope 55 landing gear times two two hope tech hab cross braces two hope tech pipes four and three hope tech radiators we're just gonna smack these on our ship and keep on moving just like that, you can see what I had to do here. I actually had to like mess around with the docking module and throw it on the front and buy more useless stuff. Hopefully your ship's a little bit easier than this one is being for me. Now let's move on to our next place will be Demos. We're going to confirm this, hit accept. We're going to back out of this nice little gentleman here. Nice talking with you. We're going to open our map after we lag for a little bit because the game likes to run weird sometimes. We're going to zoom all the way out here. We're going to head to Seoul. We're going to be heading to the demo station, which is around Mars here. You can see this little station icon. We're going to set a course and fly here. Then my favorite part of this whole shopping thing is when we actually load in here, we get to fly this beautiful Frankenstein ship to the station and actually dock with it. It's complete and utter nonsense flying this thing around. Oh, look, we actually started with some power to this thing. It's really nice. Sometimes it starts just with zero weapon and zero energy power. It's really weird like that. We're going to dock up here. competitive options for private buyers. Please dock to see our sales representative. I don't think I've ever heard that line before, but we'll see you guys after we dock. Now that we have docked, we are going to run straight forward here, take a little bit of a left, walk across this angle, take a small right, 
go down the stairs. We're going to talk to this gentleman here with a beautiful, shiny little head. And we're going to click on the wrong option to see what he's selling. And then I'm going to re-click on the modify ship button here. We're going to go to ship builder. And we're going to purchase everything on this gorgeous shopping list that's above you all here. And uh, yeah, you should pause it. We've already gone over this. I mean, you should know what's going on now. You should have paused it. Hopefully you've paused it. And if you haven't paused it, you should pause it because dogs have paused and we like to pause it here for dog paws. If you don't like dogs, maybe you like cats. Cats have paused. I don't know. What if you don't like animals? There's pause. Pause exists in the world. Pause it. It's getting weird. Pause it. Now that you finished that list, you should have these items on your screen. One D10 DP Docker Top, one 120 LD Landing Bay, four Demos All in One, two times one Habs, two Demos Cowling Fours, four Demos Spine A Fours, eight Demos Wing E Ports, and one DS40.2 Ares Bridge. Now we're going to fit these on our ship and keep on going. Now that we have fit all the stuff to our ship, we're going to back out of here and head to our final destination, which that. isn't uh, too far away. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump in the exact same system. We're going to finally get to our map after the lag settles here. Back out. We are going to be heading to Titan in the Soul System. We're not even going to leave here. We are then going to be heading to New Homestead. We are going to set a course. For whatever reason, this place loves to scan you, so make sure you don't have any contraband on you. There's no way to, like, just jump here without getting scanned. It's a little odd like that. Yes, I understand. You're going to stand my cargo. I got nothing. I'm going to see you guys on the surface. Now that we've landed at New Homestead, we're going to run over here to another one of these friendly ship techniques. Missions. Go to modify okay. ship. We're going to then go to builder again, and you are going to buy the rest of the pieces on this shopping list. This is the long one right here. So hopefully you've paused it. Give you a little bit extra time because we know the deal. We're going to pause it here because we're not going to talk about dog paws or cat paws or animal paws or Walkman pauses or CD pauses or VHS pausing or like. I don't know, tape deck pausing? What are we pausing over here? Have you guys paused it yet? Hopefully we paused it. Come on, pause it and buy all the stuff. This is a long shopping list. Pause it. Okay, we've paused it. Now that we've finished that long shopping list, you should have these parts on your screen just like this. You have two 400 GHE-3 tanks. You have one Assurance SG-1800 shield generator, two Galleon S-203 cargo holds, three Galleon S-204 cargo holds, Two horizontal weapon mounts, four NG-20 landing gear fours, two Nova Radiator ports, two Nova Radiator tops, and two Nova Radiators, six Nova Thruster array ports, two Nova weapon mounts, four PB-100 neutron beams, four PB-175 helion beams, and four PB-100 auto neutron turrets. Should have eight porthole tops and two Titan 500 HE-3 tanks. Then the next step here is going to be to come over to your ship here and we are going to pull all the pieces we bought off of this, then delete all the old ones. And if you delete something by accident, don't worry, it'll show up in here and you can buy it here even if you can't normally buy it here. So if you find out you're missing something, that's probably where it is. Now I'm going to do this and we're going to get into the assembly part. Now these are all the parts we should need to assemble this ship. So if you want to pause this here and try and kind of sort of match this layout, feel free. It might make following the next part earlier. So I'm going to pause here for a second because we like to say the word pause and if we played a drinking game where we said pause and drank and every time i said pause it would be absolutely ridiculous we would be so drunk it would be absolutely nuts because you'd just be like shot shot, 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 shot shot either way so hopefully you pause it pause it pause it here pause it here if you're going to do it and if you're not going to do it well then we're going to get straight into the assembly first we're going to take our cockpit and throw it right up here at the front just like so i'm actually going to rotate the camera around so we can see these here we are then going to take our first demos all in one two times one hab and throw it right on the back of this cockpit if the game would allow me to just like so then we are going to grab another demos all in one i'm actually going to transfer this one into the infirmary i believe this was in the guide so now that we've changed that into an infirmary by using the arrow keys we're going to throw it on the back here just like that and now we're going to grab our pinch 8z reactor we're going to stick it on the back just like this where it's sticking down one then we are going to start the bottom of this ship. We are going to grab our 120 LD landing bay and we're going to stick it here. So it's sticking one into the uh, cockpit and one over the demos have. So the ladder would be right here. Then we are going to grab one of our landing bays and we are going to landing gears. We are going to transform that into an NG 20 gear wide and place that right behind the landing bay. 
Then we are going to grab our Docker D10. Docker, where'd you go? Somewhere in here, shamandering of parts. The D10 DP Docker top way over here. We're going to bring it in. We are going to rotate it around and stick it down just like that right below. And then we're going to grab one of our Galleon S204 cargo holds and put it next in that row. So you have the landing bay, you have the landing gear, then you have a docker, and then you have your Galleon S204. Just like this, this super narrow little strip we've got going here. And then we're going to grab our two Galleon S204 cargo holds. So we're going to throw the first one up here on top of this hab right in front of this uh, Pinch 8Z reactor. Then the next one is going to go up here as well, but it's going to be hanging over the top of the 8 Pinch Z reactor. And then we're going to come over here and grab our J52 Gamma Jump Drive, and we're going to stick it at the very, very top so you can see it's sticking onto the back of this galleon s204 cargo hold hanging one down into the reactor just like this then we're going to grab one of our stroud nose cap c port forwards we're going to bring it over here we're going to come up and we're going to stick it on this bottom middle part right just like this then we're going to grab another one and stick it to the top so you have two that are matching the gamma jump drive reactor here uh just like so kind of pan around here so you can see this then we're going to grab our other two. I'm going to bring them over here just like this. And we're going to reverse these by hitting Z. And then we're going to match them to the other side. So it looks like this. We've got the two. They're all perfectly matched up with the gamma jump drive reactor. Then we're going to grab our Stroud nose cap Ds. And I'm going to bring one over to each side of my ship. I'm going to move that out the way real quick. I'm going to take this right side one, flip it around. And then we're going to stick it to the bottom like this so you can see how they line up to the bottom of these two stroud no cap c's so it lines up with the bottom of your ship as well like so let's try and zoom in around here not get crazy camera angles so you can kind of see the orientation that we're looking at here so you should have three and three lined up just like that now we are going to grab four of our engines we're going to bring four engines back here the first one is going to line up perfectly on the bottom on both sides, just like this. You can see how it's perfectly matched. And then they're actually going to stick out the top by one, like so. Just like this. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to find what we did with our Hope Tech Pipes 4. We're going to zoom over just like this. And these are going to get plugged in just like this right here. And then we're going to realize that Dig made an error. We're going to take this Galleon S204 cargo hold and we're going to move it forward one. And we're going to grab one of our Hope Tech radiators and we're going to slide it in just like so. I'm going to double click to make sure this reattached. It did not. And then I'm going to attach it to make sure that they are all attached to the ship. Oh, the builder gets weird sometimes. As we're going to have to reattach the whole darn ship, it would seem, right here and now. There we go. Just like that, the whole ship is reattached. You should do that occasionally while you're building just to make sure everything's attached. Uh, sorry about that error there. It happens when you're trying to put a complicated ship together. So now hopefully you have this just so you can see what we did. We moved this Galleon S204 from here to here and we put a Hope Radiator here instead. Now... We're going to grab the Nova Radiator tops and we're going to throw these on top of these cargo holds right here. Just like so. Bring our camera angle back down. You'll see they're just thrown right down the spine like so. We're then going to reach over here and grab the Stroud Nose Cap B4 top and stick it right on the front of these cargo holds just like this to complete the top little low out look of this ship here. We're going to pan around to the back and we're going to find our two 400 GHE tanks. And we're going to stick them on the back of this ship. If I can get the camera angle to cooperate, just like so. And now you're going to notice we're missing a landing gear back here. So we're going to grab an NG20 landing gear 4. We're going to transform it into an NG20 landing gear wide by using the arrow keys on mouse and keyboard. And we're going to stick it right here down at the bottom. And then that should be the complete bottom of the center section of the ship completed. And the top should be completely completed here as well. Now we're going to start working on the little wingy bits here. We're going to grab our Nova radiators and we're going to stick them right here, right behind the cockpit, just like this. They're the first uh, row of the uh, Demos all in one, two halves. Apparently I'm losing my voice. We're going to come around here and stick them to the other side. So they're mirrored just like so. Then we are going to grab our, where are they? Our two Hope Tech Hab cross braces from way over here. I'm going to drag them over into the workspace. They are going to go down one right here. So they are the second part of the two-in-one all-in-birth hab. 
And we're going to mirror it on the other side, just like so. And then Perpetual Chaos is going to kick in, and we're actually going to get a little bit distracted here. But we're going to take our Hope 55 landing gears and stick them to the ship, just like so. I'll rotate around so we can see what we did here. We stuck these on the bottom. So there's the galleon cargo holds here, just like so. And then there's the hab in the middle, but we're leaving this galleon 204 cargo hold empty. And then we are going to come over here and we are going to grab four of our Stemos E port wings. I'm going to drag them over here. And we're going to attach those to each side of this cargo hold back here, right in between the landing gears. You can see how snug and tight that fits in right there. And it makes it look just like a closed in system. It looks really, really good. Uh, and then we're going to take these and we're going to transform them with the arrow keys, which flips them around so you can see like the, the big bits are touching each other and the small bits are pointed away. We're going to do the same with this one. I'm going to rotate it with Z. And we're going to stick it right here. And then that finishes that little armor package look right there. It looks really, really good. Now we're going to move this because I attached it in the wrong spot. Down one, just like so. It's not always perfect, but you make it fit and make it work. And while we're working on the mid that I said was finished, that actually wasn't, we're going to grab the Titan 550 HE fuel tanks. And we're going to bring them over here. These are going to tuck up one right here. You can see how we still have one space down below attached to our D10 DP. These are one up from that in line with these uh, Hope Tech cross braces we've thrown on. I'm going to grab this one and we're going to mirror it on this side. It's going to want to naturally slap to the bottom one or snap. Why did I say slap? But we're going to bring it up one just like this and it's going to be in line with everything else we've got going on right there. Then because perpetual chaos again, we're going to grab our shield generator because random things we can do in random order. So we're going to stick it on the back right on top of our J52 gamma grab drive, just like so. Then we're going to zoom all the way out. We're going to grab both of our last two habs we have left for following my guide. Exactly. This one is going to get transformed into a workshop, which is apparently the last option. We're going to stick it to the end of these radiators and hope tech hab cross braces the left of the ship if you're looking at it from the back to the right if you're looking at it from the front then we're going to grab the last one that's left here and transform this into a captain's quarters and we're going to stick it on the other side mirrored uh that's not sticking it to it and it's going to be stuck just like this and we're starting to actually create some of these little wingy bits here it's going to start looking really really cool really really fast here then we're going to take our galleon s203 cargo hold we're going to flip it over hitting z and then i'm going to hit it at z again transform it again back another one and we're going to stick it right here on the front of this hab uh, we're going to zoom in just so you can see that this is the Demos Captain Quarters and it's on the front section of that. And we're going to do the same with this one, but this time we're only going to flip it once. So we're going to mirror it so it's stuck on the front of the Demos Workshop, just like so. Then we are going to grab one of these NG-20 landing gears. We're going to transform it into a wide with the arrow keys. I think it's Y on a controller. I don't actually know. Never use one. We're going to do the same on the other side, and we're going to mirror it. So we're going to attach that to the back half of this hab and the back half of this hab down here, just like so. Then we're going to take our last two engines, and we're just going to stick them right on the back of that. And just like that, you can see this profile really starting to come together now that you've got all six engines on there. Then we are going to grab the last, what are we looking for here? I'm looking for these Nova weapon mounts. We're going to grab these by hitting the wrong button. We're going to come down here. We're going to stick these to the front of the Galleon S203 cargo holds down here at the lower parts. And you can start to see these weapon pods starting to take their shape. And then we're going to grab these two Demos Cattling 4s and we're going to stick those on top just like so. Pop these in here if they'll go. There we go. Now we're going to start putting some flares on. We're going to grab these Demos, uh, Demos Wing E ports and we're going to stick those on the back of these. And we're going to take one and we're going to mirror it and do it the same on the other side. You can zoom in so you can see what I did here. Pan around real quick. Can you put them here on this one? Then we're going to grab two more of these. The last two we should have. We're going to flip it and then I'm going to transform it so they're reversed. So if you zoom in, you can see that the two big ends are together and the two little ends are sticking out. Same as we did up here. And then we're going to grab the very last one. That was my phone, not yours. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here by transforming it and sticking it in. We zoom in so you can see exactly what I did again. Big sides in, little sides out. Then we come around and we grab our Nova Radiator ports because Perpetual Chaos. And those are going to get stuck right up here. I'm going to reverse it and mirror it just like so. So now those are attached to the Stroud Nova Cap B4 tops right here. Now I'm pretty sure the whole center part is for the most part complete. We are then going to grab our horizontal weapon mounts. These are going to get stuck to the very, very outside edge 
of these weapon pods back here on the edge of this landing gear. We're going to grab the other one. We're going to mirror it to this side. I'm going to pause this real quick and see what my wife wanted. My wife made some breakfast sausage, so I might go get some after I'm done with this little recording here. Now we're going to zoom on out and we are going to grab all four pieces of our Demo Spine A4. We're just going to bring them into our workstation here. These are going to go on top of our pods facing just like this towards the front with the slopes. Then we're going to take these and we're going to hit the Z key to flip them. I wasn't sure if it was a Z or an arrow key there. Then we're going to flip them here. We're going to put these together just like this so the slant bits are facing away from the ship just like so with the flat bits touching each other in the middle it's gonna make this look really really clean now we're gonna zoom back out here we're gonna grab our two stroud engine bracer a's we're gonna come over here apparently i had another thing selected yeah i ripped off my demos e wing i'm just gonna put that back on real quick hopefully you haven't done the same thing and these are actually gonna sneak in under here i'll show you what i did on this one these are gonna get attached to your uh, Galleon S203 cargo holds on the inside. They don't actually attach to the landing bay, but they look just really good there and they look like they do because it's so snug right in there. So that's just a little cosmetic thing. It looks really, really cool. And now we're going to start doing some of the more fiddly bits. We're going to grab our th Nova thrusters here. I'm just going to move these up into the workstation like so. Then we're going to rotate around, come under here, and this camera angle starts to get a little bit wonky. We're going to grab the first one, and it's going to get stuck to the edge of this landing gear just like that. And then I'm going to grab these two, and I'm going to hit Z to rotate them around before I use them. And those are going to go on this landing gear and the side of our Docker DP. If I can find the other one, it's right here. They kind of blend in a little bit. So now if we zoom in here, you can see that every open space under here has something stuck to it. There's the thrusters. These are just purely cosmetic. I just like to RP them because you would really want them on a real spaceship. Then we're going to do the same on this side by sticking the two on that. That's the landing gear. That's the docking pad. And then we're going to flip it onto this other landing gear here and we can zoom in on this one again. You'll see there's one there, one there, and one there. Super nice and simple. Hopefully we got those all done. Then we are going to come to the fun little bits. I like to RP that these are scanner packs or scanner windows or just some sort of sensors um, for my ships because they help break up some of the silhouettes on underneath. So we're actually going to come in here and we're going to stick one of these to the bottom of this Demos Cowling 4 in between the weapon bracing mounts. It actually fits right up there. Kind of breaks up the silhouette of that flat spot, which looks really nice. And we're going to do the same on this side. Then we're going to take another one and we're going to stick it right underneath the cockpit. I know these don't actually function by making windows here. Like I said, I just like to RP. They're like sensor suites. So that one goes right in front of the docking bay stuck on the bottom of your uh, brain broke on the bottom of your cockpit. We're going to take another one and we're going to stick it to the back panel here the stroud nose cap d we're going to stick it to the very back end i'm going to do another one on the other side to mirror it pause it right there and come around just like so then i like to take these ones and i like to flip them and i want to attach one to the end of each wingy bit the camera gets really really crazy when you're sitting here working underneath so pardon the psychoticness of the camera i will pan around and show you where i put these in a second see that these are now attached to the bottom of the Galleon S203 cargo holds. And I'm of one last singular one here, which is going to go dead center of the ship almost, just like this, attached to this Galleon S204 cargo hold, just like that. Now we're going to attach our weapons. We're going to start with the PB100s. I like to think of these as kind of like our secondary weapons and that these can be on the most outside points and they're kind of the smallest ones and the weakest ones we have on our ship. So they would be in the most vulnerable position, kind of tucked back here. And then we're going to grab, hopefully you saw what I, what the heck did this one attach itself to? We want these attached out here to the, okay game, but someday. Okay, we're gonna have to, change some camera angles here and make it work weapons can be a little bit finicky with where they want to attach to uh this one is absolutely beating my ass and refuses to attach to the point where it says it's going to be we want these out here on the horizontal weapon mounts can't all be perfect in recordings so they're going to be right on the far outside wings back here on the horizontal weapon mounts out there then we're going to grab two of our pb 100s 175 weapons i'm going to put these two matching them up with these because they're going to go inside of our nova weapon cowlings here so we're gonna take the PB-175s, and this gets really, really janky sometimes. Hopefully you'll get lucky and they just work for you. But these are going to snap to the inside just like that. Ooh, I got lucky. And then we're gonna get this one, this one, 
Wow. Sometimes that takes me like two minutes to get those to snap inside there. The PB-175 healing beams are going inside the Nova weapon mounts. Then we're going to grab our PB-100 auto turrets and we're going to rotate these twice so they're facing forward and I'm going to place these here. There are people that like rear facing turrets and stuff. You can happily modify the ship and throw like some wingy bits on the back to have rear facing turrets and or side facing turrets if you want. But I like all of our weapons facing forward and just deleting whatever I'm looking at. So just like that, you can see we've got the two auto neutron turrets on the outside. We've got the 175s on the inside and we've got the hundreds all the way out here on the edge. And that is all of our weapons. Now you're like, dig, why do we still have two Hope Tech radiators that you've been completely ignoring? Well, we're gonna get into some advanced shipbuilding here. Now this is a personal preference and a personal choice that you can choose to do or not to do. You can delete these and send this ship out just like this, or you can get into some advanced building stuff where I'm gonna try and talk you guys through this right now. You're going to pick up the Strode Nose, Stroud Nose Cap Cs from your top back here, and we're gonna drag these off to our side just like this. Uh, this isn't like a mod, this is nothing. This is just in the game, there's a way to get blocks to merge together, and it's not too complicated once you actually learn it. So we're going to pick up these Hope Tech pipes as well and drag them off to the side. And we're going to take these Hope Tech radiators and we're going to stick them right here, just like this, so you can see they're in line with the reactor. They're sticking like most of the way up through the engine. Then we're going to click on one of these Hope Tech pipes. I'm gonna hit space bar so I can drag it around and move it. And I'm going to place it right here. Then on mouse and keyboard, I'm going to hit Z, Z again to rotate it twice. And then I'm going to hit my escape button to deselect it. And you can now see that it is attached to the ship and has merged into this block. And I think as a Greebly, this looks really, really cool. The pipes actually don't look too bad. The way this sits right outside and this almost goes right into this little crack, but from any other view, it just looks really, really clean. Now I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm gonna hit spacebar. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna hit Z, Z, then escape. I'm not sure what the buttons are on the console, but it's rotate, rotate, deselect in that spot and it goes there. Now I'm going to do the same with these Stroud nose cap Cs. You see how it's red? I'm going to hit Z, Z, and then escape, and it's going to go in there. Now I'm gonna come over here and do Z, Z, escape, and it's going to snap in just like this, and now everything should be attached to the ship. Um, this The builder's been really weird for me, so I've got a whole bunch of things deattached to the ship. So we're then going to grab this. So I'm just gonna reattach that. So I'm gonna double click on the ship again. And for some reason, somehow these freaking radiator tops came off. So we're gonna pop them off and put them back on. And now this entire wing module has popped off. So I'm gonna double click on that. We're gonna drag and drop it back on. We're gonna see if that worked. It did not. So something fishy is going on over here. So we're going to have to, I think, click on this, reattach it, then this module section here reattach that try and get this as a whole um this has just really started happening for me recently you guys will let me know in the comments if this has been happening for you as well and now i'm going to take this entire thing off double click it and then i'm going to reattach it just like so and see if it fixed the entire ship it looks like it has it says i have something unattached still so we're going to come across here i'm going to double click on this reattach that and just like that every single thing is now attached to the ship and the ship is 100 percent constructed you should still have a flight check error which is weapons have to be assigned so i'll talk you through what i like to do i like to assign the pb 175s to my left click because that's like my primary weapon i like to attach the pb 100 neutrons to the right click this is a secondary weapon and then i like to put the auto turrets in the missile slot or grenade slot whatever you are because they do their own thing and hitting the g button is a little bit weird so we put the pb 100 auto neutron turrets in there and just like that the ship is completely done and you can back out of here and fly away hopefully you had the money to purchase it hopefully you enjoy this ship and everything i'm going to paint this ship and then we're going to talk about some of the skills and crews i have and why these numbers don't match up to what you've seen on my screen and we'll get right into that and just like that through the magic of editing my ship is painted i've backed out of here and we're at the stat screen we're going to talk about the crew and the skills i am currently running to match these things out here if we back out here to skills you will see i have a lot of level fives we've got engine systems payloads level four shield systems level four particle beams level four automated weapon systems level four starship design level four then if we come over here you will see that I have ship command level four, so I can have up to eight crew members. So you need to have that as well. Now I'm gonna back out of here. We're gonna talk about the actual ship here. 
You see this 5,439 shield stat? I know that's the one everyone's staring at. And they're like, that doesn't match up with anything we know. Mathematically, somehow you can have 4,480 shield with a full crew complement. Somehow this has gotten higher as I do more of the game. And I've used this ship since the very beginning, more or less, in some variation from the beginning of Zagara to where it's at now. And something, either side quests or something, is making this go higher. And when we figure it out, I will post it in the comments below in a pin thing i'm already gonna have a pinned comment there but it'll be added in the notes there that being said i'm going to show you the crew i am currently running which should get you around 4100 and something shield if we get over here in my ship crew i have four defensive system specialists i then have ezekiel which gives plus one shield systems i have omar hassan that gives plus three to shield Sam Co gives me the payload for more cargo, and Vasco gives two shield and a little bit of power. That is currently the crew I have to get these stats here. Uh, if you are on a console, there's apparently a bug that makes it so your shields can't physically go above 1600. None of your skills or crews affect it. Hopefully they patch it for you guys. So if you see this massive disparity in numbers, that's what's going on. So level up your skills, get all your crew members, find some of those expendable crew members and hopefully you can get your shield high enough to where it feels good and hopefully we can kind of dig into how my ship's shields are above 5,000 I'm really trying to do it I have no mods running no nothing this is 100% a vanilla game I've never used any console commands other than to save the game so we're going to figure that one out for you all and on that note I really do appreciate all the support all the channels blowing up gone up like 3,000 subscribers since this game came out which is really really nice people have been checking out the live streams it's wonderful to have chatters we got donations coming in helps support the newborn baby that just came here it's freaking so much going on it's a wonderful time again i just appreciate it so much so like i said share this if you can show people this build uh if you know someone who built the old one send them this one be like he made an update it's a better ship so i will see you all in the next one dig big out thank you all so much again i gotta go re-record some bits because i made some errors and hopefully they're edited out bye everyone also, that intro was kick-ass. Bye.